what I've done is uh, I've removed the plate uh, so I can have access to the fill hole. And uh, to get access to the fill hole, I used an 8mm uh, Allen. Now you're going to want to have one with a ball, uh, a ball on the end for the Jaguar because we have to sneak up behind here, behind the exhaust uh, uh, cover and uh, get in to the fill hole this way to, un uh, to unscrew the plug. To undo the plug, I managed to just get, get it in there, get some leverage and undo it. Uh, and then uh, uh, obviously um, check your fill hole, make sure you can undo that before you start, attack uh, before you start attacking the drain hole. Um, but now that we're all good, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain the transmission fluid. Okay, so this car does have, uh, I think it's 52, 53,000 miles, and it's a 2007. So undo the drain plug and let's see uh, what the fluid looks like. Right, that fluid is looking very good actually. It's looking very clean. It's nice and hot. I'm actually quite impressed. Yeah, it's looking very clean. Nice and golden. Okay, so basically we're going to let this all drain out, leave it for um, a good four or five minutes and just let it come all out and then we're going to start attacking the uh, uh, Torx bolts. Uh, for the Torx bolts I'm going to start off using my, my little Makita. Um, I'm hoping it does the job. Uh, I don't see why not, the bolts look in good condition but they could strip. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with my Makita. If necessary, I'll upgrade to my impact wrench. If you are at home, um, use good good quality Torx bolts. Okay, I'm talking good proper stuff. Don't use any Chinese rubbish or uh, Amtec or anything like that. Just use good decent Torx bolts. Health is professional. Uh, snap on. Um, and if you if you if you are gonna be on a budget. The lowest I'd go is uh, uh, Bergen. But just get good quality torque sockets. You know what? I take it back. In the light, when it's draining, the fluid looks good. Get it collected, and that is pretty, pretty dirty. And it's only done 50,000 miles. This, is, it, this should be a very, very golden yellow colour. Uh, a bit, well, very similar to engine oil. It should be a lot clearer than that, and that is flipping dirty. Um, symptoms on the transmission, there aren't any. The transmission runs perfectly fine. But I'm just thinking that is not too good. Um, I mean, it doesn't smell burnt or anything. It smells good, it just looks terrible, so... Make of that what you will, but 50,000 miles, get that stuff changed. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more fluid up in there uh, on that pan. So let's get the transmission in Catch pan, um, 
You're only going to need something that can hold at least 6 litres. So I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, most catch pans, uh, most catch, most catch pans will be big enough. Just a little bit more fluid came out. I'm going to carry on and do these balls. I'll get the pan down and uh, we'll take a look inside. What I've done is uh, I've just uh, taken out the back bolts just a little bit, loaded down and a lot more fluids just gushed out. So uh, just take your time and just let this drain out because it'll save you a lot of headache when you come to remove the pan. Okay, so let's have a recap. Uh, we drained the fluid and um, that, that's basically the colour that came out. It's very black, very dirty. Initially it looked all right. Close inspection, not so great. Now, once you have the pan out, uh, it should be relatively quite clean. Um, uh, this is a Filtran, Filtran filter. Uh, my replacement is a Mailer one. Um, the magnets should be quite clean. I haven't got much on there, just a little bit of um, uh, wear, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, but generally this pan's looking good. Uh, it does look like the uh, original one. Uh, so next job is to uh, fit a new pan and uh, let's fill this thing up with the uh, fluid. Uh, get your brand new pan. Do not forget to take the cap off. Okay, to reveal the ring and bin that piece. Get all the bolts screwed in, and uh, you're gonna have to torque them up in order. Uh, look at the ZF diagram for that. Okay, I've torqued up the pan bolts. Um, I think there's seven, seven or eight newton meters. Yeah, not newton meters, feet. Uh, now we're gonna get the fill uh, fill hole plug out, and this is where this uh, ball joint at the end. Um, it's going to come in useful because I'm going to be able to get in and I'm going to be able to come in at an angle and, and do it. So I highly recommend you get one of these. And I'm going to try and get behind here. Just line it up. And I should be able to... It's a ridiculous location. It's an absolutely ridiculous location. Stupid. So, got no option now. So let's crack on. Right, got the fill hole plug out. Just stuck my hand in and screwed it. And then once it was out a little bit. Now, some of you are probably wondering why I've gone to the extent of coming back from behind and undoing the exhaust shield. Well, the exhaust is here. 
your fill plug is up there and I don't want to fill my transmission up this way. The reason being is I'm going to be using a plastic tubing and most of you will be doing the same. And I don't want to melt the tubing on the exhaust because you're going to have to have the engine running at one point, um, which I'll explain later. I, I want to go over the top and have my tubing sat on the exhaust shield protecting it. Makes a lot more sense and it's a clear straight way in. Um, saying that, if you want to run the risk uh, of going in there, I don't see why not. Uh, just make sure the tubing is okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in this way. And um, I recommend you guys at home use a fluid pump and you can just pump it straight in. Uh, I'm going to go a different way and I think I am going to do it by air. Uh, I'm just going to push the fluid out using my air compressor. Because um, I, I can't be bothered to pump 20 times. So uh, let's do it. So just make sure you get some car cleaner and clean out the transmission pan uh, so we can spot for leaks later on. Give it a good clean, especially around the bolts area. And then um, uh, I check the torque on the transmission bolts one more time and um, that's it.